So in this project, Grigori can be using Vit, which is a simple and fast build tool with a lot of presets for different frameworks so we can focus on Svelte instead of configuring things. If you're unfamiliar with Vit, it's basically a replacement for Webpack, if you're familiar with that. So I'm also going to be using VS Code as my editor. You're going to need the Swell for VS Code extension for syntax highlighting, but you can use a web-based editor like Code Sandbox, which is great if you're on a potato. In that case, just pick the Swell preset and you're good. So let me show you what this means. So this is the home page of Wheat. You really don't need to explore this. I just want to show you. So Wheat is the next generation front-end tool. It's super fast and that's all you need to know, basically. It's awesome. So here's the code editor I'm using, which is Visual Studio Code, which is also awesome. And here's the Svelte for VS Code extension that's really easy to install from your editor. And I also want to show you, if you're following along, and maybe you're on a potato, the easiest thing you can do is use an online IDE such as Code Sandbox, which I also love. And you can go to their homepage, codesandbox.io. You can start coding for free. And this is going to show you their templates. And we can just filter out for Svelte. And that's going to work perfectly. So let's go back to the post. So in your editor, let's open the terminal. I already created a project named tutorial and we can just CD into tutorial. And then we're going to run the command to initialize the Vite project. So in this case, I'm using PNPM, but if you're using NPM, just replace this with NPM. So for me, it's going to be PNPM init Vite latest, right? And then we're going to go through a wizard like thing and we can select the options. Let me just scroll here while I do that, so you can see what's going on. And then it's going to ask us for the project name. I'm already inside a folder, so if you don't want to create a new folder, you can just type dot. And the name of the package in package.json, let's just keep it the same, swell to do. And here we can create a swell project, right? Because Wheat has all these framework presets. And here is the part where I'm going to use TypeScript and I'm going to pick Swell TS, but if you're afraid of TypeScript or really don't want to use TypeScript, you can just select the regular Swell preset and you're going to be fine. When you see types in the tutorial, you can simply ignore them. I really want to include TypeScript because I think it's awesome and it's really easy to ignore for beginners if you're not familiar with it, but for most people and other more serious projects, you're definitely going to be using TypeScript, so why not? Let's use it, right? And then we can select Swell TS. And don't forget to install your dependencies. So we have to do pnpm i, which is short for install, and it's the same for npm. And so you can go here, and let me just scroll here. Give it a second, and pnpm is super fast. So, okay, let me just close the terminal because we don't need it now. Although I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but you can open your terminal with control dot, or you can uh, go into the view menu and open the terminal from there, I think. So yeah, so this is a brief rundown of the folder structure. So if you run, for example, let me just open the terminal back again. If you run pmpm run build, this is going to build the project. It shouldn't take long. So you're going to see here, here is the dist folder, and that's only going to show when you run the build. So the public folder is where you keep your images and favicon, and that's going to be exposed to your application when you host it somewhere, right? and sources where all our logic styles and etc resides. So continuing, let's remove things we're not going to need. So we're going to remove VS Code and this is actually awesome, a folder and what you can do in your own projects because if we look at extensions JSON, when you start this project, it's going to recommend to you the Svelte extension if you don't have it and that's awesome. So this is really useful if you're on a team or something and want to recommend what extensions someone should use. So we don't really need this folder, so we can remove it. And we can also remove the assets. And let's see, also the lib. Uh, here is where you're going to be storing your components, but I prefer the naming my folders components. But in Svelte, lib makes more sense because Svelte also has a strong emphasis on easily creating and uh, packaging libraries. So we can delete this. And we can go to app.svelte. So let me just close here everything. And we can delete everything. And we can just say, let me see, where are you, Amit? Okay. Hello world. So I say here, if you run the project and visit localhost, you should see the hello world message. So yeah, so let's do that. So I can do pmpm run dev. And if you go to localhost 3000, we can see hello world on the screen. 
So if I go here, I'll go 3000 and it works. Awesome. 